104 days of summer vacation, and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe building a rocket or fighting a mummy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Discovering something that doesn't exist. Hey! Giving a monkey a shower. Serving tidal waves. Creating nanobots and locating Frankenstein's brain. It's over here! Finding a dodo bird. Painting a continent or driving your sister insane. Phineas! As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Perry! So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it. So, Ferb, what do you want to do today? I don't know, Phineas. What do you want to do today? Hey, Phineas. Hey, Ferb. What should do when? Oh, hi, Isabella. Hi, Brittany. We're just sitting here wondering what we're going to do today. Well, we could get on the food bank and help stock the shelves. Um, maybe. We could go to the hospital and visit the patients, you know, read to the kids or the elderly or just try to cheer them up. Maybe. I saw a flyer at the grocery store looking for Habitat for Humanity help. Um, maybe. What if we took some games and stuff down to the children's home and spend the day with the kids there? Maybe. Our police department is looking for kids who are interested in law enforcement to teach the other kids about breaking the law and the consequences for it. It'd be a good service project. Um, maybe. Okay, let's see. Um, my uncle is looking for people to help package and ship donated items to U.S. personnel serving overseas. He told me I can invite some friends to come over any time. Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. I think I know exactly what you're thinking. So what's it going to be? We're going to build a world saving machine. Um, I'm sorry Phineas, but what is a world saving machine and how did you come up with that? That wasn't in any of the ideas we suggested. It actually it was, Isabella. You see, all the stuff you guys suggested had something to do with something that's wrong in the world. That's right. Visiting the sick, feeding the hungry, and all those things. How can we just pick one of these worthy the causes? We can't. So we're going to build a machine that will solve all these problems. Wow, you can do that? We're sure going to try. It'll be fun. Well, we're game. game. Let's, Let's go. go. Just think about it. This could be the answer to all the world's problems. Hey, where's Perry? You guys are so busted. Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. Ah, oh, Perry the Platypus. I am so glad you are here. You are just about to witness the greatest invention ever invented. Allow me to explain. It will cause terrible things to happen. And it will finally give me the recognition that I deserve. I see you are impressed, or maybe you are confused. It's so hard to tell with you, your expression never changes. Do not try to stop me, Perry the Platypus. I am determined to become the most evil inventor of the Tri-State Area! What do you mean my machine will not destroy the world? I haven't even told you what it can do. It looks pretty good anyway. It will cause people to lose their homes. It will cause their parents to do bad things and their children will be taken away from them. It will cause people to break the law, commit crimes and that will put them in jail. It will cause people to go to war. <laughs> What do you mean my machine is no good? You mean these things happen every day even without my invention? I did not invent something new? No! Barry the Platypus, you have followed my plan! I will not become the most evil inventor in the tri-state area! No! Curse you, Barry the Platypus! Well guys, here it is. Our custom-built, one-of-a-kind, world-saving machine. Yeah! Will you do the honors? Yay! Phineas, Ferb, y'all are in so much trouble. I'm telling Mom. Stacy, I'm going to have
have to call you back. Phineas and Ferb are in so much trouble. So what does it do? Oh, uh, why it solves all the world's problems. Um, how does it work? Well, you see this button here. When we push it, all this stuff will happen inside the machine. Stuff that is too complicated to explain. Then what? Then we wait. The solution will come out right here. Phineas, Ferb, Mom's on her way. I've got you now. Um, so what are we waiting for? Let's try it. Ferb, once again, will you do the honors? Wow, I did not see that coming. Is that supposed to be the solution of the problems of the world? It's just a rock. Ferb? Um... Come on, Mom! See what Phineas and Ferb did! See, 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 look! Pandas, calm down! Stop pulling on me, okay? Yes, I see, I see! Hello, boys. What's going on? Hello, Mom. Hi, Mom! This is our world saving machine. We built it today. The, okay, that's the start. Go on, I'm listening. Well, me and Ferb really couldn't decide what we wanted to do today. So, and Isabella and Brittany came by and gave us all these great suggestions and we couldn't pick just one. So, we built a machine to solve all those problems. So you and Ferb built this and it works? That's the problem, Mom. None of our inventions have ever failed, but when we pushed the red button, all it gave us was this rope. What are you gonna do to him, Mom? How are you gonna do? Candace, please. I think the machine might actually work. What? what? Let, me, let me make sure I got this right. This machine was built for the sole purpose of giving you the solution to all the problems of the world? That's right, but when we push the button, this rock is all it gave us. If you got this rock from the machine, then congratulations, boys. Your world-saving device has given you the solution. You have got to be kidding. No, Candace, I not. Let's have a seat back here and let me explain. You all know David from the Bible. He was a man after God's own heart. You wouldn't think a man after God's own heart would have any problems. And for a little while, that's how it was. David killed a lion, a bear, even a giant. He was anointed to be king next after Saul. He became a mighty warrior. He became as popular as a rock star. But after a while, things started going really bad for David. The king became jealous and tried to kill David lots of times. Even after Saul died and David became king, he had more problems. He took another man's wife, lied about it, and even had the man killed. Even some of his own sons turned against him and tried to kill him. But no matter what problems David faced, he always knew that God was the solution. He always knew that God was his rock. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my stronghold, my refuge and my salvation. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. So you see, kids, your machine worked perfectly. It gave you exactly what you wanted. God is the solution to all our problems. God is our rock. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. Oh, the Lord.